in the January 2018 edition of What's New Massachusetts. Take a staycation and visit the latest offering from Lark Hotels, a boutique lodging group based in Amesbury, Massachusetts. The Posh Hotel Salem is a one-of-a-kind boutique experience located on the North Shore of Boston. We'll also discuss several new hotel openings in the Bay State, including an unexpected renaissance in Worcester and the newest addition to Somerville's Assembly Row. What's new, Massachusetts? Here are your co-hosts Sam Baltrusis and Sharon Filia. And welcome to the January edition of What's New Massachusetts. My name is Sam Baltrusis. I'm an author and journalist. Joining me is my lovely co-host, Sharon Filia. Hi, Sam. How are you? Doing really well. So I'm looking forward to our staycation in January. Yes. Ta talking about hotels. Indeed. We just <laughs> came from Salem. And I can say I was so impressed with the Hotel Salem. Beautiful property. What they, it's part of the Lark Hotels group, and they go throughout lo multiple locations throughout New England, and they rehab historic properties and turn them into hotels. Now, the the structure that we talked about, the Hotel Salem, mm -hmm. was a former department store, the Newmark department store. Yes, and they actually preserved the marble staircase. So as you walk in, if you go towards the right, you see this beautiful sweeping marble staircase leading up to the second uh, second floor. It's beautiful. <laughs> And there's a lot of nuances, thanks to their designer, Rachel Ryder. She does a fantastic job at uh, capturing the essence of the historic property. She did. And for the Hotel Salem, uh, the period, I believe, is 50s, 60s modern. She did a wonderful, wonderful job of really having the furniture that was, that was uh, period appropriate. They even had actual radios from the 50s and 60s on display. There definitely is a great set, and as we, our backdrop is the Hotel Salem. So. Yeah. so you can see it's so nice. Oh my gosh, I was so impressed. It's like something out of the Brady Bunch a little bit. <laughs> and they also run the the Merchant, which is the, the Joshua Ward House in Salem. Yes. And for many years, that location was vacant. And the fact that they took it, rehabbed yeah. it, bringing people into Salem, staying there, um, is a great thing. So I think it's good what they're doing. Um, the, some properties are extremely historic so um, you take a location like the Joshua Ward house um, and you convert it you focus maybe on one aspect of its history and not right. the full uh, historical breadth of what the room the hotel's about but they do, they do have a George Washington room because George Washington supposedly slept there so. oh, wow. <laughs> But what I find, find also particularly interesting is that um, with the Lark Hotel Group, that the personnel, the staff, they're actually a really good source of information so that when you stay at these hotels, if you have a question about the area, the staff is well-versed and can help you out with that. Yeah, and, and also like the, the history of Salem as a tour guide in Salem, and I wrote a mm -hmm. book on Salem. Uh, it's so rich, and the fact that they're focusing on something other than the 1692 witch trials, right. uh, with the merchant especially, uh, is a great thing. And also with the whole the Newmark department store turning turning into the Hotel Salem. There's a whole his, a recent history that they're exploring with that hotel. They are, and the rooms are beautiful. Now, now generally a little pricey, but if you time it correctly, you can get a great deal. And that's what, what's good about January. January, yes. February, March are good times to check out a lot of the new hotels. The, the hotels that are going to be in season are going to be really pricey. Yes. So we have, you know, the Hotel Salem, which can go up to like six, seven hundred dollars for their wow. suites. Wow, they're nice. Uh, but they're going to be under around two hundred dollars uh, during off season. So go now if you're going to actually yes. check out the hotels throughout New England. Uh, I would recommend doing it now because it's off season for most of us. It's colder. You get sit in front of in some locations, sit in front of a fireplace. <laughs> yes, and, and the rooms at the Hotel Salem are beautiful. The one suite that we actually looked at had two levels. I've never seen that before. It was beautiful. Yeah, the ceilings are high. Um, mm -hmm. There's these huge drapes, uh, beautiful furniture. Beautiful. Uh, Rachel Ryder has done a fantastic job with that. She really has, and you can tell she really paid attention to detail. And I love interior design, and you don't see this type of detail except maybe in very, very upscale hotels or in Las Vegas. Now, Lark Hotels, they manage multiple properties. Yes. Some of them they own, some of them they just manage. Right. And um, I think there's like locations in Nantucket, uh, Martha's Vineyard, right. uh, there's uh, the, the Merchant like we talked about in right. Salem, and then there's uh, Plum Island as well. Right. So so you can, you have your choice. So if you go on their website, you can kind of pick and choose which, which area you would like to visit and see if they have specials to help you out so you can go there and not spend a lot of money. So we're going to check out our visit to the Hotel Salem. Let's check it out.
This is Sharon Filiar for What's New Massachusetts. Here we are at the Hotel Salem located right here on Essex Street in downtown Salem. We're going to be speaking to manager Karina Lopez about this hotel, so let's check it out. with Miss Karina Lopez, the manager of the Salem Hotel located right here on Essex Street in Salem. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Well, what's interesting about this beautiful hotel, it's its real uniqueness. Can you describe a little bit about it? Yes, so the hotel was designed uh, stemming back to its history as Newmark department store back in the 50s and 60s. And from there, that's where our designer was kind of inspired to kind of create this experience, mid-century modern design, that guests could kind of go back in time a little bit while they're still able to enjoy the modern amenities. Um, and, it, and it really fits the area of Salem as well. Now, this hotel hasn't been here uh, terribly long, and so it's, it's a new addition to the Salem community. And to me, it has such a nice, warm feel. So when people come here, what type of experience can they expect? So what we like to provide are amenities that they'll desire, service they won't forget, and a touch of mischief. So when they come into the hotel, they're going to be greeted by our bartenders who are going to be able to provide them information on the hotel while creating them an amazing cocktail. And then they're going to be able to go to the front desk with our guest services staff who are familiar from, with the area of Salem. Many of them are from the area, so they're able to give them those personalized recommendations. Mm -hmm. We don't want to send them to the touristy places necessarily, unless Unless that's what they're looking for. We want to provide them with information on Salem that they wouldn't necessarily get elsewhere. So that's part of the whole experience. Um, but we also want them to be able to relax and be comfortable. We're there when they need us but at the same time, they'll be able to enjoy their stay. That is so wonderful. You know, when I walked in, I definitely had a great feel. First of all, it's been nice and warm and cozy in here, and the decor is amazing. Um, you said Rachel Ryder is the interior uh, decorator for this facility, but uh, the, ho uh, the management group, Lark Hotels, also manages a hotel right down the street from here. Yes, so The Merchant is our sister property located on Washington Street. Um, she designed that hotel as well. So when you're looking at the two properties, they kind of give people something different depending on what they're looking for. So The Merchant is an 11 room hotel. Um, so it's, it's on the smaller side, a little bit more intimate. Whereas this property, if they want to stay at the Hotel Salem, it has modern amenities just like The Merchant does, but with the different spaces throughout the hotel with beverages and food, it kind of provides them that hotel experience experience that they're able to basically stay in the building if they want to. And you know it's interesting, um, it's a hotel experience but has a real family feel to it. Now the Lark Management Organization also has other hotels that they manage throughout New England. I believe you have three in Martha's Vineyard, two in Nantucket. Can you tell us a little bit about the other hotels that Lark uh, Hotel manages? Yeah, absolutely. So what Lark is really great at doing is selecting locations that have a rich history and they're really what they enjoy doing is telling a story with the hotels that they open. So from everything from the design to the location of the properties, the things that they preserve in the buildings, um, all of our properties are essentially renovated older buildings. So the story is really important to them, um, you know, in Newport, for example, we have a property called Gilded that was built in the 1800s and it was renovated to um, encompass the Gilded Age of Newport. So it, it tells the story and our other properties too, you have Summer Camp on Martha's Vineyard, which is part of the historic um, religious campgrounds on Martha's Vineyard. So hence the name Summer Camp. So there, that's kind of the main premise is selecting locations that people enjoy traveling to while also telling the story of those areas through the design and the amenities of the hotel. And I think that we should give a nod to the CEO of the Lark Management Group, Rob Blood, uh, who is the visionary behind behind the mission of, of this wonderful uh, management company, that they're looking to make uh, hotels a different type of experience rather than just this sort of perfunctory, you go in and it's kind of sterile. It's just a nice feel. And I hope we can get um, hopefully footage of this wonderful backdrop here. I mean, Rachel Ryder did a wonderful job. So you mentioned that, you, uh, that you've been with the uh, Lark Management Company since 2015. So how has it evolved since you've been a part of it. 
So I remember when I started that there was actually only six properties at that point. So for me to have continued with Lark and seeing by the end of next year, they'll have 21 hotels um, all throughout New England, as well as one out in California and one in Florida and others kind of down the pipeline. Um, Saratoga Springs is also another location that they'll have a property. Uh, so it's just interesting to see the evolution of the company in terms of the properties that they're acquiring and what they're doing it it definitely is still sticking with their standards from before but it's certainly evolving in what they're beginning to offer so it's just exciting to be part of a growing company that is continuously expanding so there's further opportunity. Wow. So it seems like if one wanted to go around New England and experience different areas and learn about the history, they should stick with the Lark Management Company because they've got a bunch of different hotels all up and down New England. Um, as we mentioned, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, right here in Salem. So thank you so much, Karina Lopez. Continued success to you. It's been wonderful speaking to you. And I encourage you to come on down to the Hotel Salem located right here on Essex Street in Salem, Massachusetts. <laughs>
of the amenities of this wonderful hotel is the roof deck, one of the, the only roof deck here in Salem. It is, yes. So that'll be opening spring of this year. Um, they're still working on finishing the construction of the roof deck at this point, but that will be opening up soon. It will be open to the public, and you are right. It will be the only one um, pretty much on the North Shore, so it'll provide a place where people can go and enjoy themselves in the outside, um, get drinks and food upstairs, so it's going to be great. Oh, that sounds like fun, and I suppose you'll be having quite a few parties up there. There will be, for certain. Um, there will definitely be events that we'll probably have upstairs, but I would imagine it's going to be the kind of location where people are just going to be coming in off the street, and that's going to provide enough business in and of itself. It's, uh, there's a lot of buzz. People are constantly coming in, asking about the roof deck, wanting to head up there. Wow, that's a, that sounds exciting. And after drinks, people like to eat. Now, here at the Salem Hotel, you have a wonderful head chef. Can you tell us about him? Yes, so our executive chef for the company, Justin Perdue, um, he is actually kind of assists our, our restaurants throughout the company. We have one in um, Stowe, Vermont, as well as in Camden, Maine. And now we have the addition of this restaurant. So he is the mind behind the menu that we'll be releasing in our main level restaurant counter. Now, from what I understand, right now the bar is open, so Justin is still putting together the menu, so the actual food portion has not um, commenced yet. Exactly. So in the upcoming weeks, we'll be introducing food to the restaurant. We will have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner option. So for breakfast, we'll have pastries as well as draft lattes. And then for lunch and dinner, it's going to be new American cuisine. So we're going to have a lot of fresh, simple ingredients. It's going to be approachable food, um, but it's going to be a little bit elevated as well. Wow. You know, as much as I love food, I may have to take a trip back up here. <laughs> <laughs> Karina Lopez, much continued success. Thank you so much for joining us here in West New Massachusetts and continued good luck here. And welcome back to What's New Massachusetts. So, Sharon, mm -hmm. so what part of Massachusetts will you be interested in, in as far as like visiting a hotel? Oh my God. Well, I kind of would like to go to Worcester and check that out. <laughs> you want to go like to Worcester? To I the Woo? The Woo, because of all <laughs> these new hotels and restaurants um, that, are, that are coming to Worcester, I think it might be interesting. And you actually, you're right on there. I think it, coming up in this year, in 2018, mm -hmm. I think that Worcester is going to be the place to, to be. And that wasn't the case for many years. Right, and I must admit, I'm being a little selfish because whenever we do a restaurant interview, they give us samples. So maybe <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but it's so much fun to eat after the interview, isn't it? <laughs> Well, speaking of restaurants, so Worcester has uh, there are 55 restaurants that are in the mm -hmm. works to open up within right. this this past year coming up year. So 55 restaurants is pretty huge. That's a lot. And hotels in Worcester. So there's an AC hotel, which you may have seen the chain. There's a lot of them uh, like popping up throughout uh, Boston area. Yes, I've seen them. And there's like one in there's one in Medford. Yes. There's one opening up in Cleveland C Cleveland Circle, mm -hmm. uh, and in North End as well. So the AC hotels sort of brand, which is part of the Marriott chain. Right. Uh, they have this really kind of beautiful, no frills, but uh, a really like decent price and a good uh, overnight location. Right, and it's, it'll be interesting because Worcester, as you mentioned, really is, is a magnet now for new businesses, uh, restaurants, and they have a real need for added hotel space. And I guess that conventions will be going in and functions. So it seems like, like we'll have a lot of, a lot of uh, people and businesses to visit there. Absolutely, and Worcester is, so we, we talked about the restaurants, the hotel, 70% 70, 70 of its hotels are, are they're occupied. And that's a huge number. That is that's huge. That's a huge number. Now, we're looking at like other locations throughout Massachusetts could be right. like 30 to 50 percent, especially in right. off season. 70 percent in Worcester. That's a sign that there's a renaissance happening. Right. And it's the hub to go to Boston or go to Connecticut or New Hampshire. So this is where this is sort of a central location that people are attracted to. And that's why it's so popular. It's right. because it has the history there. Um, it's the central location to like Hartford, Connecticut, mm -hmm. to New Hampshire, right. to Boston. Boston, and you can all from all different parts of New England come and gather in Worcester. Right, and there are major arteries um, giving you access to all these cities, so it's it's just easy to get to. So what's happening is they're building this thing called City Square, and it's a, a square of retail businesses and uh, restaurants, kind of like Assembly Row in Somerville. Wow, so we're gonna this should be fun. We're gonna I have can't a lot of fun to in go Worcester. there, and we can get some free. Oh, I shouldn't bring that up, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so much fun because because we get to interview different 
different restaurants with different cuisine, and we get to meet the owners and, and the staff. It's a lot of fun. So I'm all about the woo. <laughs> Let's go to the Woo, Sharon. <laughs> that sounds like fun. So let's roll a clip on the Woo. And welcome back to What's New Massachusetts. Sharon, that was a great show. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> so there's one more hotel I want to talk about. It's the, called the Row Autograph Collection in Assembly Row, where I live. And this is another boutique co hotel, correct? Absolutely. It's sort of kind of uh, inside the uh, all the buildings that are being built currently. Mm -hmm. um, it's part of the Marriott's uh, signature collection, and it's called the Row. And they're really working on getting the sort of the the vibe of the neighborhood, which is kind of up to up scale retail uh, restaurant place to go. Now it's interesting with Marriott. Marriott is generally known for big hotels, everything big. And they're kind of segueing off into these smaller boutique hotels because sometimes people don't want that big hotel feel. They want a nice kind of, not a bed and breakfast, but just a smaller hotel type of feel. And it's opening up in April 2018. Mm -hmm. And as we talked about, we've done several uh, episodes of What's New Massachusetts on uh, Assembly Row. And there's so much to do. So there's places to eat, places right. to shop, uh, places to live, and now places to stay the night. Yes, Assembly <laughs> Row is one-stop shopping. Everything is there. There. Movie theaters, they have the Lego factory, <laughs> the Lego place where you can go and check out things. Everything is there. Then, of, of course, across the way, the Wynn Hotel is currently under construction and moving at a furious pace. Yeah, so you can actually see it looming in the horizon. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be, so they, they kind of, um, they gave us the plans for the hotel. Uh, so we have a sneak peek of the different uh, things that are going to happen. There's a harbor walk. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be ferries going from Assembly Row uh, across the Mystic River to the Wynn Hotel. And I can tell you, I've stayed at the Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas, everything the Wynn organization does is top notch. They cut no corners, the best service, everything is upscale. Steve Wynn is amazing. And, uh, there was a thing, so they were they showed us the this, this actual uh, design of the hotel, mm -hmm. and there's this huge Popeye statue. Yes. I'm like, what is that about? The Popeye statue oh, okay. <laughs> is by Jeffrey Coons. Now, um, I love art too, and Jeffrey Coons is a very, very, very famous artist, and I believe the Wynn Hotel has other Jeffrey Coons um, of his work, but the Popeye statue is very special and it's very, very expensive. The Wynn Hotel and its line is known for its expensive art. Okay, I didn't mm -hmm. know that. So yes, learn so something learned new. Something. Yes, we did. <laughs> Jeffrey Coons. Yep. <laughs> so I would like for us to be able to check out the Wynn Hotel when it opens up in 2019. Oh, are you so? My heart be still. <laughs> it, I'm telling you, the Wynn Hotel, everything is top notch there. It's beautiful. So. What's New Massachusetts? Um, we're going to do probably more thematic shows. So the goal is to be able to visit uh, different parts of Massachusetts. So we talked about Worcester today, yes. talked about Assembly Row in Somerville, uh, talked about Hotel Salem yes. and the Lark Hotels, which is based in Amesbury, Mass. So right. from now on, we're going to do more thematic shows. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are some of the things that you want to talk about in 2018? Oh, God. well, you know, I love food. I, but I have to get off <laughs> Got to have that. a restaurant <laughs> show. <laughs> I have to get off of that subject. But you know, I, one of the things I really am, am intrigued with 
with is the up and coming movies that are coming up. They're always filming here in a brown of Boston area. Just interesting things because I guess there's a tax break for movies. So a lot of production comes to Boston with different movies and different things. So that's another area that we can that we can uh, undertake. Well, you're actually in luck because I that's my background. I, I was a journalist and I wrote about the Made in Massachusetts movie scene. Right. So I know all about it. Um, yes, and it's exciting. It's exciting. And there's a lot of movies that have been shot here over the past years. Uh, probably more movies coming up in the future. So this is probably that's a good place for us to to do to it, cover the local movie scene. It is, and you know that if we get Dwayne Johnson, uh, <laughs> we could interview him right here. And I'd be happy to do that one. <laughs> well, this has been a fantastic episode of What's New Massachusetts. Yes. Have a great month, everybody. We'll see you next month. Bye. Bye.